you have 104 projects, you say you're committed to these, and 13 billion dirhams of expenditure. Will you remain, if I speak to you in a year's time, are you going to say, Manus, I have not had to cut back at all in terms of the number of projects or the commitment of capital? There's no headwind at all to these numbers. Uh, very good morning to you uh, and your, your audience, uh, 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 Manus. Uh, if you speak to me uh, a year from today, I will tell you exactly the same thing that I, I would tell you this morning. Uh, our projects uh, have not been hampered uh, to make the, the right, the right uh, uh, um, uh, verb. Uh, most projects uh, in the whole universe were uh, affected by the uh, by the uh, uh, pandemic uh, phenomena uh, all over the world. Uh, we have. I was recalculating my, my 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 projects, and I thought it might be a good idea to add to add also uh, the, the the seven billion that we 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 we, uh, uh, we uh, allocated for our housing scheme. So what we have today is uh, over twenty billion uh, dirhams. Uh, of of uh, projects uh, uh, together uh, uh, being 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 managed. Have they been affected? Yes. Uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, the effect is in the uh, time and the duration and giving alternatives offers. Uh, but sure. the projects are going 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 fine, and uh, we believe that we can we can uh, uh, from a year from today we would. Uh, we would say the same thing. Um, only, only uh, last Minister, week. Uh, allow me, allow me to jump in, if uh, if I may, because I do want to get to some of your uh, future projections in terms of the bigger strategy that you're chasing at the ministry. Uh, the importance of investing into reconstruction, into development, is absolutely critical, especially in a time of a, a lot of challenges with the coronavirus. What kind of landmark projects are you considering that you would say, you know what, this would be great to add to the ministry's portfolio going into 2021. It will be supportive to an economy that at the moment is going through a very painful time. There are, there are a couple of projects that we feel that we should actually continue, uh, uh, continue uh, uh, concentrating on. Uh, one of them is the... the uh, uh, housing scheme that we do in uh, Ras al-Khaimah. These are uh, over 2,000 uh, uh, villas for, for national. Uh, 800 uh, of them is, is, is actually, uh, rather, 1,000 of them are, are under construction. Uh, um, only last week we had to, uh, we took over uh, partial taking over of some 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 uh, some villas. That is, that is one of the uh, bulky projects that we, we we really look into into very highly. Uh, the second one is a highway that is actually uh, connecting uh, the north and the west, and that project is almost at the end of the of its uh, its uh, its uh, 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 duration. So probably in six months' time, we would have uh, a new uh, project being put in service for our uh, network. Minister, can I ask you, just before we spoke to you, we, we spoke about the message from the Kuwaiti Prime Minister that uh, expatriates need to be downsized in the country. You run major infrastructure projects. You need talent from all around the world. What is your biggest risk? Is it holding on to expatriates with the skills that you need? Or is it encouraging people to stay here and weather the storm? Your message to the expatriate community that work on infrastructure and projects is integral. What is it this morning, Minister? We did actually both. Uh, we've given the uh, opportunity for expats to take uh, a long leave if they wish. Um, uh, and we supported the uh, contractors, uh, the, the, the mega contractors that, that, that would actually uh, uh, downsize their workforce. And that is... Uh, uh, something that is that we support. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we uh, believe that uh, the United Arab Emirates is a, is a is a place where where uh, uh, this ex uh, the expats that we have today are well skilled, and uh, 
uh, we would definitely need them. Uh, uh, the pandemic is not going to be here for, for, for a long time, and uh, we do not really think that uh, uh, we base our future strategies on a on a on a, uh, a, 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 a pandemic that comes uh, probably for six months or a year or even more. Uh, but the the, the 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 world would definitely uh, deal with it and get rid of it, and then we would we would we would really uh, uh, regret the minute that we we thought uh, that okay we would get rid of our our skilled workforce, whether it's it's. Uh, 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 national workforce or uh, expats. We would like to keep them. Mm -hmm. uh, now there are less projects in, in 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 the whole universe, and there are less projects in towns as well. Uh, and there are so many so many expats would like to uh, right. would like to go home for some time. So what we did is actually we dedicated uh, our national airlines to 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 help uh, those expats who thought that okay they might be. Uh, willing or they would like it more to be with their families rather than being away from them. Of course. Uh, Minister, uh, in terms of the economy in the United Arab Emirates, uh, you are involved at the very top level of government, so you get all kinds of reports. And then within the remit, remit of the ministry, you've got your own data as well. What is your sense as to when we're going to get back on track in terms of the recovery how long is this going to take us? Is it going to be a V-shaped recovery, or do you think this is actually going to take a long time for the UAE and for the world to get back to a healthy level of development? Uh, my, my, my guess uh, uh, would probably be a combination of a V and a U-shape. Uh, we, have, we have so far in the United Arab Emirates, and this is... This is uh, uh, this is not really uh, uh, the judgment. Uh, uh, this pandemic is a worldwide issue, and for the whole, for the economy to really uh, uh, get back into into its its course again, uh, the whole world has to recover. Uh, uh, now we've seen we've seen recovery uh, uh, in in many in many countries. We also have uh, uh, similar things in in in. Uh, in the United Arab Emirates, where big numbers of of, uh, of uh, 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 coronavirus uh, uh, patients are are recovering, and that is a good sign for us. So what I see actually into this, uh, I see a combination of both U and a V shape uh, for recovery. But uh, the recovery is the imminent thing that we we built all our strategies on.